video i will discuss some details about google search uh, search results scraping in previous video i discussed some basic stuff about how you can extract uh, search results using xpath and uh, some basic stuff about writing to csv in this video i'll tell you some details about uh, scrapping and um, extract the saving to csv so let's start first things uh, first of all what we need to do here is we need to increase our search results per page to do that uh, what we need to do here is by default if you search uh, anything uh, if i search donald trump here you'll see that uh, i get uh, uh, about uh, more than more search results than uh, if you search uh, then you would uh, get approximately 10 to 20 search results uh, i'm getting more because i have select change the settings here if you go to settings you will <coughs> click search settings and see that this is the results per page bar you can um, it's by default 10 or 20 and uh, because it's, uh, it's faster it, lo it loads faster so uh, you can increase it to up to 100 so uh, i have set it to 40 you can increase to 50 or 100 and after that you will have to click hit save it will ask you to check captcha or it will simply reload the page and it will show you uh, that number of search search you have opted for you can also look at uh, other uh, options here region settings and uh, etc so uh, let's go back and uh, copy what we need here let's copy a link basically what uh, we need here is just this link uh, we don't need complete string just uh, up to q equals to donald plus trump let's press enter and you can see that we get the same uh, result as we did so we don't need uh, the long url here that was uh, generated by default uh, when we search the query so what we have here is uh, google uh, link search and q equals our keyword but still i'm getting uh, not by default 10 search results but over 40 search results this is because the google uh, chrome settings uh, it's in the google chrome settings but uh, we can also increase total number of search results by adding something like if you look at the uh, search uh, a query that was generated by default here you can see that there are plenty of things that uh, define a search tell tell google what to return so we can also change our um, search query by adding simply add and and sign here and uh, type uh, num equals to uh, if i add 10 here it will show me 10 search results you can see that uh, before I had mm, plenty more now I only get one uh, sorry <coughs> 10 search cells if I increase it to 100 you'll see that you can uh, okay you can see that there are over 100 search results in my on my first page the reason I'm doing it is because uh, if you want uh, 10 search results against a query you don't need to send 10 requests or iterate through pages it will uh, be prone to getting blocked blocked or detected by google servers that you are probably uh, doing it uh, you are automating your search results so it's better to uh, increase number of results per request this way you can uh, get more results against fewer requests so let's copy this link and paste it here now since we have our uh, search query link uh, let's change few more things here first thing is the way we write our csv file uh, i did that simple string simple uh, after write function uh, to give you some basic idea about writing and uh, basic concept concept about csv files that these are just a common separated files so if you pass a string with and just commas in it uh, it will simply separate them on the basis of that comma so now i'm going to use csv uh, library to do that uh, so need to do some modifications here now i'm going, going to add new line here new line empty and uh, let's create a writer writer equals to csv dot uh, write row 
csv.writer and uh, we need to pass our f a variable that we uh, use to open our google.csv file and further we need to define a delimiter here that is a comma we are good we don't need that anymore just comment that and uh, let's use this writer to write writer equals to write row uh beg your pardon don't need that here just simply write row and the reason i did it because uh as you look at this this row row 16 here after write uh, what i'm doing here is for within each variable i am uh, replacing comma with something else and adding comma after each variable and so on and so forth uh, this may be look simple or uh, doable now but since we are writing only three variables to csv so it's not very complex but uh, if you are if you are talking about like six eight or ten or more than that variables in a s uh, in single row that will be much more complex and prone to error so we cannot do that we it's not preferred to do that so let's comment that as a comment that out as well and uh, use our writer to write uh, that csv for us okay let's write the writer dot writer dot write row this is the function we are going to use here and uh, we will pass i think i forgot to pass something here as well but uh, in write row we pass all what we want to write in each uh, column or in a row we need to pass all the elements as a list so let's pass that as a list as well title uh, link and detail as a strings okay now let's do that here as well uh, title link and detail okay we are good now we will be closing after close here as well and uh, let's quit our driver as well driver dot quit okay what uh, another thing I need to do here is I already have a CSV file saved here. Let's delete that. Mm, okay. To make sure that we don't have duplicates. Okay. Since we uh for the uh, uh okay just to let me let you know that uh, uh since I'm opening CSV file with WW means that I'm going to open a new CSV file with with uh, write writes okay so if you want to just open a csv file and read it you can use r and you can also use wb if you want to open an existing csv file and edit it for new queries so let's since uh, i'm using w but i don't need to worry about existing csv because it will create discard that and create a new csv file okay let's uh, run our python file it says python 3 google.py and i'm in the same directory so let's run that once i cause i have opted for uh, 100 uh, search results per page so it will take a little bit of time to load that depends on your internet speed or your uh, machine as well uh, so let's wait for it to load the page Uh, one more thing is I probably forgot to print anything so it will not print anything and it will simply uh, process and close so let's wait for <coughs> first let it wait for okay right row is not defined okay let's have a look at it what we have done here I probably right row looks fine writer dot right row it should be like this okay google dot c writer let's have me have a look at it again let's run it again and see what happens let's open the file first and then load it so that we can see if everything is fine instead of waiting for uh, our 
link in a browser to load so let's run it again and see what happens name right row is not defined which line was it it was in the line page is loading looks fine to me okay what happened is it just finished because I didn't print anything again so let's see what we have got in our google.csv file it's just title and links why is that because uh, since I lost last time I scraped the google search result probably few things have changed let's look at, have a look at our html and see why we have not uh, got anything in return oh, and let's print that as well title link and detail okay let's uh, have a look at our container first let's see what why we have not got anything mm, I don't see uh, RC here it's probably the class that is changed and uh, what we can do uh, to replace it is we can use G class class name G and uh, everything else should stay the same okay instead of using RC let's use G and uh, everything else can stay the same I guess let's make a few more modifications to make sure that we get uh, what we want this is the ID here let's use that as well this container that will it will make it more specific instead of searching to in whole HTML it will go to ID and it will search within that ID and the class with G class name is G so use that uh, okay let's uh, what we have here is div and ID so let's use that div at the rate ID equals to I beg your pardon I just copied all of it let's use that ID and uh, we got div and class G inside of that class element uh, we have s3 which is probably the same uh, okay all right that we have s3 here as well and uh, let's see if we have this class inside uh, it hasn't changed or uh, you can see that it's still the same div class uh, name is Sam and we have a tag next to it we are good here as well and uh, for details let's see if this is the same as well ok alright uh, everything el else stays the same let's run our scraper now don't forget to save every time you make any changes uh, because if you run it without saving it will not do anything it will uh, just execute the previous script previous last saved script so okay it's taking time to load okay let's see what we get It starts printing and you can see that we get we, go, we have got a, a title link and uh, details let's wait for a little longer to um, loop all loop through all of these search results and save them to csv file okay we are good here it has saved all the uh, results to CSV and also it's uh, it has closed the Google close uh, Google Chrome browser so now let's have a look at our CSV file 
google.csv now you can see that uh, I have all the search results it should be over you can see that 98 search results that was the total number of count uh, I probably had in our in my Google Chrome Chrome uh, this is all for today uh, if you like the video don't uh, forget to like and subscribe in future video in next video I'll tell you how to uh, use proxies uh, and uh, handle some cookies in uh, while scraping Google search results thanks for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe have a nice day